Hello, YouTube. What I am cleaning here is my William DeMuth Company Milano pipe. I got it for 10 bucks off the internet. And I have reason to believe that it's very, 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 very old. Like, a hundred years old. I don't know. I don't know if that's true. But, in any event, I got it for ten bucks, and I got it for the specific purpose of trying to clean it up and see how I can do. I don't think I'm doing well. Which would be too bad, because it really is a hundred years old. I ruined a hundred year old pipe. Well, I haven't ruined it, but it's not. It'll need to be restored from the restoration when I'm done. So what else? What do I want to talk about? I want to talk about... What about this? My... Jarn Viking series pipe that I got today in the mail from pipesandcigars.com It's a very nice pipe. I can see this pipe as compared to that other pipe that I had. They're probably different woods. This one looks more like my little pipe, even though it's hard to tell what the grain is on my Dr. Grey book because it's so small. Um, it very looks much similar to this. Much more than a light colored pipe does. So I'm going to go with the light colored pipe is pearwood. The Dr. Green is briar. Clearly this is briar. It's made in Denmark. Um, it's a very nice pipe, by the way. It's gorgeous. Like, I don't want to use it. And it's not even a high-end pipe. I can imagine what I would do if I ever bought an actual expensive pipe. But anyways, I got that in the mail. I got a couple of check tools. And I got um, a pouch of haunted bookshop. I was very excited about the Haunted Bookshop. Very excited about the Haunted Bookshop. Because um, I'm a nerd. I like books. I'm smoking a pipe. I'm a nerd. And it's haunted. And it's October. Haunted Bookshop. It smells amazing. I, the whole box, when I open the box, it smells my stash. Here's my my stash, my cellar. I'm just going to smell it because it smells awesome. So I guess it makes it aromatic, even though it's a burly blend. Oh, God. It smells like, like hay. It smells like... It smells like earth. It looks cool. It's very uh, light colored. I don't know how this. It shows, it's like it's dark. I don't know if it'll let it out, but it looks dark in this picture. It's not. It's wicked, wicked light. It's good looking tobacco. What I got this from Pipes and Cigars. Haunted bookshelf. Two ounces of it. I want to try it. And. I did not like it. I was so, so, so sad. I didn't enjoy it. Um, I couldn't get, keep it to stay lit. And it was... That wasn't good. I didn't like it. I wanted to very much. But, well, we'll see. I'll have to revisit it. I also did not like half and half. The half and half when I first tried it. But it grew on me. I still don't like it. It's still a little too cigarette-y. Up until I started smoking a pipe, I was dedicated, militant, anti-smoking Nazi. So I don't even know how I wound up with this starting to smoke a pipe nonsense. But, so I'm not used to the cigarette taste. I'm not, I don't like the cigarette taste. It's a burly blend. Half and half is, is half burly. Um, Captain Black is half burly for what it's worth. Um, 
RLP is burly. For the Captain Black and the RLP don't taste overly burly to me because they have so much other crap in them. Hey, this is actually starting to come out clean. Look, look clean my butt cleaner is. Go. Oh, not clean. Look at that end. <laughs> Anyways. So, but anyways, I didn't like the half and half. I got used to it. Uh, it's all right. I got a whole pouch of it. Ounce and a half of tobacco is a lot of tobacco when you try and eat 18 different flavors of tobacco and you smoke one or two or maybe three bowls today. I think today's going to be like banner day for me. I'm going to have four bowls of tobacco. Um, I'll probably have cancer by tomorrow, I'm sure. And... So anyways, pipes and cigars. That's why I'm talking to you. I ordered my starter kit from pipesandcigars.com, and it came with a tiny little Dr. Rabo. Um, come on. Edit. Edit. See the little teeny Dr. Rabo? Little teeny Dr. Rabo. For comparison, is that big ass... Pearwood pipe. They're kind of the same bend and style, so they're a good comparison one to the other. Little. Here, here. All right. Anyways, this is what came with my little starter kit. It's about a three-quarter size version of this full-size pipe. Clean it, guys. Sucking up some spit. Anyways, so it's about three quarters of the size. They didn't say that. They didn't mention that when I ordered it. That it wasn't a full size pipe. I didn't expect anything amazing uh, for the value of, of what it was. I didn't expect it to be a uh, super pipe or anything. But I expected it to be full size. It's not, it's tiny. They did it again today. This beautiful pipe from a known manufacturer came to me in a brown cardboard box with the pipes and cigar logo on it. No stand, no bag, nothing. Brown, plain paper box. This pipe, this not briar pipe, or probably not briar pipe, it came out of a basket in a cigar store. Came in its own nice box with a bag with a stand. $29 cigar store Applewood pipe from. Wherever. Um, $70, $60, whatever I paid for it, $80. Briar pipe from a known Danish manufacturer came in less. Oh. I don't even want to order from them again. I think I probably. So. I don't know. You gotta just be really. You gotta be too careful with them to know what you're getting. It's they don't cheat you. They send you exactly what they say they're gonna send you. What, what, what's the, in the description is what comes. But nothing else. You gotta be too.